Hi everybody, I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. It's not cute not knowing I go by the nickname Ginger. Let's hug it out. How you guys doing? We got a lot of stuff going on. Um, tomorrow, I'm taking over the radio station's Instagram page. It's WDAS. I'm going to be interviewing Skip Marley. Skip Marley is the 23-year-old grandson of the legendary Bob Marley, who would have been 75 this year. Skip is topping the musical charts with the singer Her with a song called Slow Down, which has been streamed 44 million times at 11 o'clock on Thursday, May 21st on the WDAS IG page. I get a chance to take over and have a conversation with Skip Marley, can't wait to talk to, he comes from Musical Dynasty, can't wait to talk to him. BET is presenting a star-studded tribute to Andre Harrell. Andre Harrell, the founder of Uptown Records, died at the age of 59 last weekend. He had heart complications. He left behind a legacy. He started up Uptown Records. They gave us Mary J. Blige. Guy. Show to see. Help really launch everything for Puffy. Now, this star studded tribute is Sunday night on BET, on the Revolt, all the BET channels, entitled Mr. Champagne and Bubbles, which was his nickname. We've got Mariah Carey, Babyface, Jamie Foxx, Chris Rock, Naomi Campbell, Lee Daniels, Russell Simmons, Robin Thicke. I still think they're bringing this together because, of course, I was like, we're married yet. We're Show to see. We're guy. Puffy. Maybe because it's running on, on Puffy's Revolt channel. So they got to be showing up. But I think they're still planning it out. But this Sunday at 8. Also Sunday at 8 on Instagram. Babyface does his little waiting to exhale thing. He's got a special guest. He was supposed to do it Mother's Day weekend. But Andre Harrell died. So we put it off. So Babyface is doing his Sunday night at 8 o'clock too. Don't ask me how they're going to do both. I have, I have no idea. I just go by my notes. The Obamas are teaming up with Beyonce for a star-studded graduation salute. The date they're telling me, because this is all on YouTube, everybody, is Wednesday, June 3rd. Graduation live stream for the class of 2020. It's going to be a virtual graduation event. The Obamas, Barack is doing the commencement speech, but they got, oh, the biggest names, Beyonce, Taylor Swift, Jennifer Lopez, Lady Gaga, Zendaya, Alicia Keys, Bill and Melinda Gates, and they say the list will continue to grow. This event, Wednesday, June 3rd, 3 p.m., right here on YouTube. I think it's going to be great. Issa Rae, her new romantic comedy, Lovebirds, is going to start streaming on Netflix this Friday. It's a romantic comedy. She co-stars with Kumail. See, it's like when you have to say Massachusetts. If you think of it, you can't. Okay. Kumail Nanjiani. I hope I did that right. Okay, so they play a couple on a blind date. It goes all wrong because they get caught up in a murder mystery. And they've got to, like, solve the murder mystery on the way. But it starts streaming on Friday, on Netflix. I've been practicing that name all day. I just want y'all to know. Okay, Betty White, her funeral services are going to be live streamed this Saturday. You know, with this corona, it's really a shame if you die because they don't want a lot of people at the funeral. They're saying 10 people, but, you know, some people push it to 20. So they do a lot of live streaming so that people can get a chance to uh, witness and participate in the ceremony. The body of former WWE star Shad Gaspard, 39 years old, they found his body. He went swimming with his son, Venice, California, his 10-year-old son. They got caught up in a riptide. They were able to rescue the son, but they couldn't rescue Shad, who was swept out to sea. But they got his body, and our condolences and prayers go out to his family. Carl Malone, the mailman. You know, everybody's talking about former basketball greats, and he's not happy about the story. Carl Malone played for the Utah Jazz, but before he became a basketball star, 
He was 20 years old and he got a 13 year old girl pregnant. He never had anything to do with the child. The child went on to join the NFL and they say he was pretty good. People are bringing it up. Carl Malone is not happy. He was like, I, I really don't bring this story up. My career is over. But people are bringing it up because people are looking into the lives of anybody that played with or against Michael Jordan. So I'm hearing that the Academy Awards may be postponed. It's not until late February, but think about it. We don't know where we're going to be at that time. Will there be a vaccine? Are people going to take the vaccine? Is a vaccine going to work? Is it too quick for a vaccine or too soon? Where will we be with social distancing? Are they going to have a red carpet? It's, it's a mess. I don't even know how they're going to do concerts. So they're saying that the Academy Awards may be, may be postponed. Maybe they'll go on. I do listen to you guys. I do listen. Let's go to Nick Jonas. I went back, yes, Hawaii Five-0, and I forgot about the Jumanji movies. So Nick Jonas says he's really getting into his acting, doing a new movie with Lawrence Fishburne, but, you're, but I, I listen to you guys. I also listen to you guys on the Jay-Z story, okay? So I went back. The Maryland woman who said that she's Jay-Z's secret daughter. She's writing a book, by the way. You know, and I was wondering, well, why are you coming out now? You're 28 years old. You have four kids. Her mother is very sick with multiple sclerosis. And I looked. She does look like them. You know, Jay-Z got strong genes. He does. His genes are And she looks like them. Will he ever claim this young girl? It's four kids. It's four. She's got four kids. One set of twins. Her mother is very sick. Will he do it on a low? Because there's another woman I hear in Trinidad that has a son. So, uh, I don't know. Do you think he will? She looks like him. Nope, you guys were right. Y'all were like, Patty, go look again. I did. <laughs> I did. I, I looked again. And I said, oh, she do. So, for you, when I say, like, leave a comment, I do look and I'll go back and I'll... Do a little, you know, do a little research and stuff like that. But the question is, will Jay-Z claim this woman? Or maybe he'll give her some money just on the DL just to be like, all right, go take care of your mom and just, you know. Because that's what some people do. You know, he's got this image that he only has children by Beyonce. But I think there are other women who have kids by Jigga. Have a great afternoon, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. Toya, Dexter, they say hello. Um, here on, on our end, I don't know when they're going to open up here. It is a slow, slow process. But I'm here to give you the scoop. It's not cute. Not knowing. That's kind of like my tag signature there. Heart, hit the subscription button. Tell a friend. Subscribe to the channel. We are here. We are here to give you entertainment stuff. Thank you for joining us. Come on, let's hug out. Have a great afternoon, everybody. Leave a comment. And if I heart you, that means that I saw your comment. Thank you so much for joining me.